Greetings to all of you. Um, I'm really excited to announce that uh, we've reached, I've reached the $500 mark on my uh, Patreon drawing project. And so I want to thank all the, the patrons that have been contributing to this uh, profusely. I'm really excited. I am happy with the drawings that have been happening so far. And now at the 500 mark, I'm going to ramp things up start making more drawings, at least two drawings a month, plus I'm going to start making videos uh, documenting some of the some of the drawings I'm going to make. And so to kind of celebrate and to start, I thought I would make one of the drawings that the $50 contributors uh, have suggested. At the $50 mark, the people who give 50 can ask for a particular drawing. And so I'm going to start with the first drawing that uh, was suggested to me by Joe Varghese. Um, he actually asked me to make something that I promised myself I would never make. Um, when I started making icons, when I started carving icons, I promised myself that I would never make a reproduction of the famous 6th century uh, encaustic icon of Christ. Uh, it's one of the most famous images in Christianity and it is so particular, so unique that I told myself I wouldn't even try to touch it. I had seen so many people try to make reproductions of it and fail at capturing the essence of that image. Um, but when Joe asked me at first I, th I thought no, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to do it. But then slowly as the weeks went on, it, it was kind of mulling over in my mind and I thought, okay, this isn't a carving. This I, I made this Patreon project to push myself further and to try new things. And so I'm actually going to try to make this image and I'm going to document it as I'm going. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. Uh, I'm a bit terrified, to be honest. But uh, I, I'm going to spend a lot of time looking at the image and I'm not going to try to make a reproduction, like a photographic reproduction of it. I'm going to try to capture as much as I can of the, the mysterious aspect of that, of that image. One of the important things for me in making this project was that I tried to be as freehand as possible. I mean, there are methods of drawing using grids and whatnot to be exact. And so I wanted to avoid those methods because the uh, the purpose that I was that I had in in uh, in drawing these images was so that I can really focus and kind of enter them into my hand as much as as getting a good drawing on paper. And so by drawing it freehand, I have to be way more attentive to what I'm doing than if I would use a uh, a more technical process. I mean, I guess the, the, the puzzle of this image is how to make the image without it looking like it's two different faces, um, while at the same time preserving the duality which appears in his expression. So I finished the drawing. Um, I have to say that uh, the difficulties that I was expecting um, are the same ones that I faced. At first I thought I was going to be successful, but as I was going through the drawing, um, especially when I reached the beard and the neck, um, I realized that the effect that we get from the drawing is based on a very painterly approach. It's based on an almost impressionistic feeling in the painting. Um, and so it helped me to understand why so many iconographers today fail to reproduce this image successfully because most of modern iconography has a very linear technique um, and so it, it, it struggles to, uh, to, to find where the form ends and where the forms begin. And so what happened is during the, the drawing I ended up having to resort to more painterly strategies, especially um, around the neck and the beard. And so leaving certain parts um, purposefully vague and gray were the only ways I was able to even come close to um, to suggesting what's on the image. And so I have to say it, it convinced me even more in making a drawing of this that, that I should never attempt to carve it because to reach the kind of 
vague impressionistic feeling in a carving is not possible and so yeah so it was a good experiment and um, I'm not completely happy with it but I think I did the best I could and so I'll leave all of you to judge whether it's been in any way successful so thank you and uh, I'll see you on my next video